Hi everyone. So I want to continue with the uh, concept of uh, we talked about Hess's law in the previous video. So I want to continue with this uh, next topic, which uh, is called enthalpy of formation. And in order to discuss enthalpy of formation, we first need to uh, understand a couple of terms associated with uh, measurements of enthalpy of formation. And this is uh, first is the, the, the term standard conditions. So one of the issues you have with <clears throat> delta H calculations or delta H measurements is that uh, the value of delta H can change as a function of pressure, temperature, and concentration. So as a result, it's possible that you might be, um, you know, you might measure delta H at a particular condition to be a certain value, and then if somebody else were to measure that same uh, delta H at a different condition, even though it's for the same reaction, that person might get a different value. And as a result, we need to make sure that if we're talking about delta H, that everybody is referring to the same condition, the same experimental condition. So this is what we refer to as standard condition. A lot of times in thermodynamics, all the parameters that you'll see in thermodynamics, enthalpy being one of them, but also delta E, uh, and later on in Chem 12, you'll see delta G and delta S. They are uh, tabulated at uh, what we refer to as standard conditions, which really means the following. It, 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 it me means for uh, solid and liquid, it's the most stable form of that solid or liquid at pressure equals uh, one atmosphere. Now, uh, more uh, recently, textbooks changed this definition to one bar which is a pressure value that's fairly close to one atmosphere. Uh, so this is kind of a change in definition, but the idea there is that you want to find the most stable form of the solid or the liquid at one atmosphere, and that's the one that you want to measure the delta H for. Okay, so that's, that, that's what it means to be standard condition. So you might wonder, well, isn't there only one form of a solid? For example, you know, isn't ice the form of a solid for water? Um, as it turns out that you can actually have quite a few different forms of a solid um, even though it's for the same uh, element for example so if you look um, for example for carbon carbon solid can exist uh, you know as something we call graphite or something we call diamond depending on how the carbon atoms are uh, arranging themselves together in the in the solid and so it turns out that the more stable form is graphite so that's what we would use in standard conditions when we're calculating when we're making calculations of delta H um, gases um, for standard condition gases de is defined as having pressure equals one atmosphere and like I said earlier the more modern convention uses one bar uh, but you know it's just basically it's referring to the idea that if we want to you know do experiments with gases we have to have it at one atmosphere and then if you have aqueous solutions you want that to be uh, at one molar okay so as opposed to say something like you know one micromolar you're gonna have it at one molar so just to make sure that everybody is, is using the same definition to perform their reaction that's kind of the purpose of standard condition uh, when we measure or when we calculate delta H value at standard condition the delta H is given a special symbol and that symbol is delta H uh, degree here there's a little degree symbol here that's supposed to indicate standard condition okay so the second term I want to introduce here is the term formation reaction so in thermodynamics um, a lot of times as you'll see in a second the enthalpies uh, the enthalpy values are often tabulated for a specific type of reaction called formation reaction and that value is tabulated at standard condition so what is a formation reaction? A formation reaction is a reaction where you form one mole of a compound or an element um, from all its elements that make up that compound, all the species being under standard condition, which again is pressure equals one bar. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run through a few examples of uh, various compounds here and just show you how to write the formation reaction for all of these. So again, keeping in mind that the definition of uh, formation reaction is the formation of one mole of a compound, so one mole of any one of these guys, right, uh, from its elements, uh, all the species being under standard condition. 
Okay, so uh, the first uh, example that I wrote on that slide was CO. So if you think about CO, CO is a, is a gas, right? And the, if you want to write the formation reaction for CO, basically you're saying that, okay, what, what should I write as the reactants that will make up CO with all the species under standard condition? And remember that this has to be the elements that make up CO. Well, as you can see, there's only two, two elements that make up uh, CO, which is carbon and oxygen. So then what you want to do is write the most stable version of carbon and oxygen at pressure equal one, equals one bar. And for carbon, of course, we said earlier there was that solid, carbon solid in the graphite form. And then for oxygen, we know that it's the gas, right? Because that's how oxygen is found in the elemental form. Now, if you write it this way, the equation doesn't balance, but you can't write C, you know, and then put 2 here, and then put 2 here, because even though that would balance the equation, that's not the definition of formation reaction. The definition of formation reaction is that the product is one mole. In order to make the product one mole, then this has to have an, a, a coefficient of, of a half, okay? Now, you might wonder, well, this is not a real equation because how can you have half of a oxygen? But remember that what we're saying here, uh, as you'll see later on, is that it's not so much the, the equation themselves that, um, you know, mean something to us later on. It's really the enthalpy values that are tabulated for these reactions that we would use to calculate uh, enthalpy of other reactions. So that's what really I want to get uh, across here. But the way you would write the formation reaction for a carbon monoxide gas, therefore, has to be in this form. Okay. Now, the second example I wrote there on the slide is uh, CO2 gas. Okay. So again, if you want to write the formation reaction for this, you have to think about the fact that um, you have, you know, CO2, which means, again, you're going to start with carbon and oxygen but in this case you're actually okay because you have one 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 they're all balanced so then you're done okay just remember that the product always has to have a coefficient of one uh, if you go to the third one it says there H2O okay this could be a liquid or a gas so let's use the liquid here as an example now the elements that form H2O of course is H and O and in both cases they exist as the diatomic gases so you're gonna have to write H2 and O2 separately and again you have to have a coefficient of 1 for the product which means that this has to have a coefficient of a half okay uh, the fourth example I wrote there is CH4 which is methane so methane and of course here we have carbon and hydrogen making up methane and in this case, because we want one here, carbon is already one, but hydrogen, we need to put a two in front of it. So that would be the formation reaction for CH4. And lastly, we have oxygen, okay? Now, what about oxygen? Well, oxygen is, a, is an element, and the element that makes up oxygen is oxygen itself. So in other words, the reaction formation reaction for oxygen just looks like this. Okay, let's now go back and talk about this idea why formation reactions are important. Um, the idea is, uh, is that you can actually uh, either calculate or measure the value of enthalpy for formation reaction. Remember, formation reactions are done under standard condition. So when you either measure or calculate the value of enthalpy for formation reactions, the symbol for that uh, enthalpy value is this symbol right here, delta H F naught, okay? not here for standard conditions, F for formation reaction. And the actual name of that is called the standard molar enthalpy of formation. I'm just going to underline that to make sure that you uh, understand, you pay attention and wrote, write it down your notes, OK? Um, so the standard molar enthalpy of formation is delta HF. Um, now, this is very widely tabulated, available from a lot of sources. So if you look up your textbook, uh, any textbook you want at the back, usually in the appendix section, you'll see uh, a thermodynamic table of sorts, and then you'll see in it delta HF values. You can also go online and find the uh, delta HF values in, in a lot of different uh, uh, locations. And um, the one that we're going to use in this class is actually provided in the class website. 
So this is actually the class website uh, on the topic of thermochemistry. And as you can see that one of the links provided there is this thing called enthalpy of formation values. Um, and you can click on this and it would show you the uh, uh, table that looks like this. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll up a little bit here to see the titles of these tables. So you can see here this is uh, an appendix and inside uh, of a textbook and here you can see that there's delta HF value given kilojoules per mole. So you can see that for uh, barium sulfate for example is negative 1465, for beryllium solid it's zero and so on. Uh, earlier we wrote formation reaction for several of these compounds, CO, uh, so that value would have been negative 110.5 kilojoules per mole of reaction and this uh, for CO2 it's negative 393.5 remember we wrote a reaction for CH4 as well um, methane and that's negative 75 we also wrote one for liquid water and that's negative 286 okay and we wrote one as well for oxygen um, which is uh, just let me see if we can find it really quickly here as you can see that for oxygen, the value here of enthalpy of formation is zero, okay?